is nothing that connects you to your roots more than a traditional family meal. And here to cook with us a Sunday meal that has been passed down from generation to generation is the Del Grosso family. Welcome, family. I feel like I'm in my element. <laughs> yeah, right. I am with food, I'm with family. This is good stuff. But I want to first talk about, tell me about your, your business and what okay. you've been doing. Sure. Well, the. We're the oldest family-owned producer of pasta sauce in the U.S. Some people call us the first family of pasta sauce. And You've been making sauce for 61 for years. For 61 years. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and, and we still, as a family, we work together, we cook together, and we eat together. And what we're here to do today is just we're going to take one of those sauces from our new line, La Familia Del Grosso. We're going to... Uh, my uncle Joe can tell you about what we're going to do with it, but we're each going to take you through a different dish, and we're okay. going to show you how easy a Sunday dinner can be. Because you know how some people think that Sunday dinner has to be a big deal. It's complicated. We're yeah. going to make it simple, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. This is how we do it. Well, that's how the Italians cook family. anyway. Yeah. It's like okay. good food. It's made simple. I like that. Exactly. All right, I'm starting off with one of my favorite dishes. It's roasted peppers. I've been making it for my husband. He's now addicted. He tries to make it himself. I think he's getting better at making it. And you couldn't keep your hands off our stuff, so we have, still have some left. Uh, what we're going to do is start out with the roasted red peppers. Now, after you make it like this, you're never going to want to buy it from a jar again. No. We start out on the under the broiler, we're going to blacken these peppers. This is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes, and it's real simple. I'm so just going to put that back in there. Ovens on broil, you stick them in for about 20, 30 minutes. And you're going to rotate them as you're, as you're uh, cooking them. And now, I'll, this I'll is a secret. This side. is very important. Listen up, guys. And that's right. This is the key, because if you put these in the bowl and cover it with plastic wrap, the, it'll cool and it'll steam at the same time, separating that outer skin, the blackened skin, from now the pepper. Now, watch how easy this is. You just literally peel, and I wish you can see this. Yeah. Can you see this, guys? It comes off just like that. So you really, really easy. And if you don't let them cool, you're going to burn your hands. That's exactly right. So you let them cool. Core it, and uh, then the, the next thing we're going to do is slice it. We'll, we'll put it in another bowl, and then we add just a few ingredients yeah. to really, that's exactly how easy it is. That easy. We add some olive oil, a little balsamic vinegar, salt, fresh parsley, and some garlic. Mix that up. We like to let it marinate for an hour or two, and uh, then you can serve it. And it's over there. The beauty shot is right there. Mm -hmm. It's those gorgeous peppers right there looking gorgeous. And oh, you can put it on a piece of bread. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that was Michael, and now we're moving on, moving on to Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. What are we making here today? Today's uh, dish is a brajole dish, which is a rolled steak recipe. Mm -hmm. And we've made this, you know, for years. My mom taught me to make this when I was literally six years old. I used to have to uh, take the toothpicks and put it in for her. That was my favorite job. Thank so today, <laughs> it's a real simple recipe. Recipe. We've taken the, the rolled round steak. And now the purpose of the result is to <clears throat> flavor the meat. Is Correct. that really That's what it exactly does? Right. Okay. Um, so what we're going to add? We're going to add parsley. Parsley. So we want to put parsley on. We've already salt and peppered. That's plenty. Okay. Then what? When we're going to put breadcrumbs. Oh, breadcrumbs. And we want to put a pretty hearty amount of those because we want to make sure that it almost is a filling on the, uh, okay. on the meat itself. How's that? That's good. Good. Cheese. Cheese. Thank you, Michael. Sure. Add some Parmesan. I'm sure Parmigiano, I should say it properly. I'm going to get yelled at if I don't pronounce that word. Garlic. Well. Garlic. Yep. Can't get enough garlic, huh? That's good. And then the yeah. raisins would be optional. I'm into it. And if you like raisins, put them in. If you don't, my brother Bo doesn't like raisins, I so I don't it. put them in when he I make it for him. Eggs in but his, he puts actually. right. Yeah. I would like that, and pernoli nuts too. I would like. Okay, right. so once we've got it all layered, now then we want to roll do? it tightly. I'm going to let that. I'm okay. Go, you do and that. And we're just simply <laughs> going to roll the steak <laughs> into a very tight woven roll. Okay. Okay. Once we roll it. We're going to take it and we're going to then place our toothpicks in it. And this is again what my mom would let me do as a kid. Now, why do we use brajol for the meat well, in this dish? The, the dish, because of the fact that it adds so much flavor to my sister Marianne's Sunday marinara sauce. This is the best. So, the, you know, we're adding, and what we're doing, I'll, I'll start this actually. We're going to place the brajol meat into our skillet. Okay. That's going to start to brown. Okay. And we're just going to brown it for literally five to ten minutes until it gets nice and golden brown. And we're going to then take that, and then we have some that's already been cooked here. We would then take that meat and place it into our sauce and cook it for about an hour to an hour and a half. An hour to an hour and a half. Until yeah, it gets pork tender. Okay. And it's ready to eat, and we cook our pasta, and we're basically ready to go. Or we just buy your sauce, right? Right. It's all done yeah. for us. So this is <laughs> a piece better. that's been cooked. Do I get to taste it? Sure. All right, I'm going to do that. Absolutely. I'm going to slice myself a little piece. I'll just put it over here. And for then you. we got to move to the pasta. Oh, I am the luckiest girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, that's really good stuff. I taste the cheese. Yeah, really, really good. Definitely. All right, let's make the pasta. Okay. All right, come on. Haley? I'm with Haley, the youngest member. She's not the cutest thing. Haley, how old are you? 
19. 19? Oh, I'm 19. getting sizzly. Woo, careful over there. I know it. But um, as fourth generation, I am in college, and this was the absolute best thing to learn pasta because they do go hand in hand, college and pasta. Hand in you hand. must so. be the most popular girl <laughs> in your dormitory. I try. You know what? But today we are making um, cheese tortellini, okay. one of my absolute favorite, favorite pastas. Um, in my family, we love to use refrigerated pasta. And you know why? It actually cooks in, in half the yeah, time, no time as I know, that's why a I boxed pasta. And it makes it so easy to get it on the table fast. And there's lots of mouths usually to feed And for tortellini, our house. I always feel like everyone needs a little bit less because they're really filling tortellini. Oh, they are filling, but they're absolutely wonderful. Oh, I'm gonna and you know what? No, I want you. Of course, if this you... were a real house, I'd be yelling at Haley. Why? Because, Why? Know, what did she do wrong? She water there on the floor. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> I did not. It looks perfect to me, but Haley. You, know what? you go ahead and just get a little bit of that um, sauce right on top of there. Oh my goodness. Turn our burner off here. Put a little bit of this. Joe, how about you come a little bit. put I'm a little a... Parmigiana Reggiana on top here All for right. us? Finish it off, please, Look okay? Look how beautiful this looks. But Just yeah, one bit. of our favorite, favorite pastas right here. Mm -hmm. There you go, throw there it on there. Yes. And that's Haley's grandmother's recipe. My there grandmother, there gotta I, give credit to her, right? I get to take a bite of this, and then <laughs> you know what I get to do? Move on to salads and desserts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're not finished yet. All right, moving on to salad. All right, we this have... This is Denise, everyone. Yes. <laughs> we have this same salad every Sunday for our meals. Okay. My father taught me how to make this salad dressing recipe, and I have already taught my children just to keep the tradition going. Okay. We always like to use romaine lettuce. Uh, is that Italian just to keep it Well, we like the dark green, okay. the, the great vitamins that are in it. Uh, we like to use uh, Italian plum tomatoes and some red onion. And then the dressing is very simple. Six simple ingredients. It's right here. Smell it. Mm. Can you smell the Parmesan cheese yes. and the Dijon mustard? Those are the two secret ingredients. We start with three parts olive oil, one part balsamic vinegar, okay. fresh garlic, a little bit of sugar, and then, like I said, the two secret ingredients, the Parmesan cheese and the Dijon mustard. And just whip it we, up. We whisk that and then pour it over the salad. Go ahead, you do we that. toss it and we're ready to serve. Oh my goodness, I have a feast here. You guys are all getting hungry. I know yes. you are. This makes a great meal just by itself, and it but looks we beautiful. have it every Sunday. And then to cap our meal off, we always like to have fresh fruit and serve it with imported cheeses. And rather than having a traditional fruit salad, we like to kick it up a notch How and do you add kick some it up a notch? orange flavored liqueur and some honey and some fresh orange juice. And I have that right Wait, here. Say that again. What's in there? Uh, we have orange flavored liqueur. You can mm -hmm. use triple sec or Cointreau, okay. whatever you prefer. Some fresh orange juice and some honey. It sounds delicious. And then we just pour that over the fruit and we serve that with some imported cheeses and that is our Sunday You guys meal. are killing me. I've got the rest <laughs> of the show to do. I just want to eat everything else. Thank you guys for all being here. For the DeGrosso family recipes, go to intheloop.ivillage.com and guess what, everyone? Everyone in the audience is taking home a gift, a pack of DeGrosso gourmet sauces. We'll be right back.